Greetings, everybody. Welcome to G4G on YouTube. I'm Napalm Dawn, and it is time to do the duel. We are going to have a deathmatch showdown of Marvel Avengers Alliance versus Marvel Future Fight to determine who is the winner in the grand total of characters and the grand total of uniforms across both games. So, Marvel Future Fight is celebrating its six year birthday right around now. Right around here in late April of 2021, we're celebrating six years of Marvel Future Fight, putting it starting way back in 2015. Simpler times, no COVID, no pandemic, no itis. 2015 Marvel Avengers Alliance was still alive. We still had a year and a half or so left of the game and Marvel Future Fight was new on the scene, giving us another Marvel game with which to play tunes in a slightly different way than the turn-based structure of Marvel Avengers Alliance. But alas, Marvel Future Fight has six years under its belt and still going, whereas Marvel Avengers Alliance came to an untimely and sad end in 2016 after having started in 2012 so we got a good solid four four and a half years out of marvel avengers alliance so now we're going to compare rosters before i get into the meat of the video it is time for you guys to put up a prediction i want you to guess the amount of jelly beans in the jelly bean jar here without cheating and using resources, how many characters do you think were in Marvel Avengers Alliance? Counting the agent, so the agent counts as one, one plus however many heroes in Marvel Avengers Alliance. What is your guess? We're also going to count uniforms. So for Marvel Avengers Alliance, the statistics over here, we are not counting agent uniforms. If we were to count agent uniforms in Marvel Avengers Alliance, I would think that potentially Marvel Avengers Alliance would beat everything on the planet for a Marvel roster that has uniforms. I think the agent gear would clobber everything. However, we're not going to count agent uniforms for this video. We're just going to count the agent as one hero and then we're going to count everybody else that the game gave us. So, I want you guys to put down below, without watching the video, your guess, be fair, as to how many characters are in Marvel Avengers Alliance and how many uniforms are in Marvel Avengers Alliance, counting the agent. And then guess how many characters are playable in Marvel Future Fight and an estimate of the uniforms of Marvel Future Fight. So you can put it, you know, down in the comments below, like MAA, one number, have the first number be the amount of characters, because that'll be the smaller number, and then like a dash or a slash, and then the uniform number, and then Marvel Future Fight, do the same thing, like MAA dash 5 slash 10, and Marvel Future Fight 5 slash 10. All right. So, without further ado, go ahead and get your guesses in. You've got about five, four, three, two, one. Let's find out the statistics. Okay, so first, we're going to go into Marvel Avengers Alliance, and you're probably going to get a rough idea looking right over here how many characters we're going to deal with. So, if you know that there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per page, and there are at least 20 pages, you know that Marvel Avengers Alliance, by simple math, is going to have at least 160 characters. So, when I was originally doing this, I wasn't too sure how many would be on the last page. So, I was like, okay, there's eight a page, and I clicked and I clicked. I'm like, oh my god, I'm here at Sabretooth. Have I really just 
surpassed 80 characters. It doesn't feel like it. When you do this and you're clicking through, it doesn't feel like you have passed 180 characters by the time you get to Sabretooth. And it started blowing my mind. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I get it now. I'm going to have at least 160 because there's 20 pages. And then when you come to the end and you see we all but fill out one slot on the final page. So poor Play Dumb lost this game, sadly, before they could fill out the 21st page and give us 168. We have 167 characters in Marvel Avengers Alliance. That blows my mind. I'm like, holy shit, it never ever felt like that. I don't, in 2016, September, knowing the game was gonna die in the end of the month, if you said, Napalm, how many characters do you think are in Marvel Avengers Alliance? I would have been like, 70? I wouldn't have had a clue. Maybe because it's the segmentation through the pages and you can never change this. It's not like, um, you know, a web form where you're like, how many do you want to see on eBay? Do you want to see 25 per page? Do you want to see 50? It, it hid the breadth and the scope. And I wouldn't, I don't think I would have guessed that it would have been 167. I would have maybe said like, oh, about 100. So now that you know there are 167 characters in Marvel Avengers Alliance and knowing how much that's probably blowing your fucking mind that Playdom gave us 167 for the uniforms if I counted everything correctly and it was cumbersome to do we have 335 uniforms in Marvel Avengers Alliance, not counting all the uniforms for the agent, and uh, that would probably be absolutely huge. Now, obviously, I wouldn't count the agent as male and female. It would just be um, a sexless blob. I would consider it agent uniforms, uh, counting them as, as a singular sex over there. So, 335 uniforms and it, it's kind of weird because there is a we knew there was one very clear gap in the game when cannonball and molly were the last of the mutants more specifically cannonball really it was like the last time we saw an x-man this was a sharp dividing line in the sand here but around this time once you got past the guardians of the galaxy we really didn't get a lot of heavy uniforming going on in the characters. You go through here and you're like, yeah, all these pages don't really have characters with alternates. Hype you did and Amazing Spider-Girl you did. Ooh, I mean think I might yeah I did count Amazing Spider-Girl properly I'm like thinking in my head did I count her I didn't remember looking at her but I believe I did but then you look through all these pages and we didn't get alternates we just kept getting new characters now Shocker could have potentially had something Mantis could have had something um Warlock but he was so close to the end probably not Ronin maybe like they could have clearly added green classic for Ronin like that jumps right out at me but right around the Guardians of the Galaxy there again was another sharp line in the sand where they just stopped doing uniforms for the most part again I don't know how many different variations of Kazar that you have but I feel like the Inhumans could have had alternates um, you know, we, we had Hybrid who did, who came out a year after Doom. Um, maybe Enchantress could have gotten one eventually. I don't see much that you could do for Burb 
or Angela. I mean, Angela does have a bunch of skins in Marvel Future Fight. Uh, but you didn't have Into the Spider-Verse yet. You kind of, I think you had Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe they could have done an AOS over there and potentially other... You didn't have Ant-Man and Wasp yet, so you just had Ant-Man. Um, you could... We did have Doctor Strange yet, so you wouldn't have had too many different mortos. A lot of these characters, it's hard... Like Kamala, you probably could have had several different comic looks for her. Um, he always just looks like a Mega Band boss to me. Elsa, maybe. I will say this. I don't think Playdom could have given us too many more different looks for the characters we were getting. Potentially Electro. Potentially Hellcat. Um, they were just probably focused more on character content than uniform content. But, so interesting thing. Everybody has an odd number of uniforms. You either have one or three or five or seven or nine the maximum is nine and you get a lot of threes in there where um somebody has the main and then they get an alternate skin and play dom always gave us two classes so if somebody even gets so much as one alternate they would always get two out of the deal because it would always be two classes like luke was a scrapper and then they gave a scrapper bruiser Human Torch was a blaster. They gave us Bruiser Blaster. So that's kind of a little piece of trivia there for you. Um, three is probably the most common out of all of them. But 335 character uniforms. Granted, that is probably a drop in the bucket that's in the middle of an extra salt lake. In the middle of the bottom of the deepest ocean on the world. To have 167 characters and 335 uniforms compared to the breadth and width of the entire Marvel Universe but um and then think that they still gave us all those suits for the agent a lot a lot of work in there so now here in Marvel Future Fight can Marvel Future Fight at six years beat Marvel Avengers Alliance at four years and a little bit of suspenseful drum roll the answer is yes Marvel Future Fight does beat Marvel Avengers Alliance unfortunately by a score of 241 to 167 so the real thing that comes into play is where was Marvel Future Fight at its four-year mark? In 2019, could they have beaten Marvel Avengers Alliance roster? Well, we have about an 80-character difference. Could we have gotten 80 characters uh, in two years? I don't know. But let's take... 167 let's divide it by four so an average of 41 characters a year let's go ahead and take 241 we will divide it by six 40 it probably would have been close the average is only one character a year difference and it goes to marvel avengers alliance so maybe back in 2019 it would have been competitive. Um, I can, you know, immediately tell you, you uh, wouldn't have had Minerva, you wouldn't have had Mystique, you wouldn't have had Sentry. Yeah, I don't think we had Psylocke or a lot of the mutants then. Marvel Future Fight was still predominantly favoring the MCU. Um, Wolverine was one of the earliest mutants. We we always had Deadpool, but Beta Ray Bill was not around then. Beast wasn't. I don't think the Infinity Warps were. It it would have been competitive, and uh, if the average holds true, Marvel Avengers Alliance might have eked it out at four years compared to four years. Now, how about the amount of uniforms? 
I have not raw counted the amount of uniforms in this game because it's extremely tough to do. However, if we go to the store and we go to uniforms and we go to all, now individual characters are not listed here. You will never see the base character. You will only see the uniforms. So I, again, we're looking at eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight per row and on the screen is three rows and on the screen is now six. And on the screen is now nine. And now we have 12. So 12 times eight, like you, you only needed about a hundred to do it. And yeah, it, it, it gets there. So sadly the uniforms definitely bring Marvel Future Fight to a victory in both categories in in raw individual tunes and once you start adding up the uniforms uh all you needed was to get about a hundred uniforms um and add it to the top of the 241 and yeah it, it most definitely gets there uh you could spend time counting all these rows and maybe if somebody wants to do it go ahead but yeah, Marvel Future Fight uh, most definitely wins. And, you know, they, they each have their unique properties. So you have um, you have Luna, who is a Marvel Future Fight specific character. And we had Night America. Uh, but Luna has multiple uniforms. Night America did not. And, um, yeah, Marvel Future Fight keeps cranking it out. So... I would like to believe at the four year mark and only for like four years versus four years, it probably would have been competitive. I think Marvel Future Fight might win in the uniforms, um, but since they didn't do class switching as much with the uniforms, you could just get one. Here is like regular Ghost, like what we had in Marvel Avengers Alliance 2, and here is Movie Ghost. So that you can get an even number in Marvel Future Fight for the alternates. But I would probably think in 2019 Marvel Future Fight compared to 2016 Marvel Avengers Alliance. It would have been really, really close in the actual head count. But I think Marvel Future Fight probably would have pulled it out uh, in the uniforms. If we look at Cap, we know Cap had 9 over in Marvel Avengers Alliance. The original, the World War, Steve Rogers, nine, yeah. Well, actually, wait a minute. Did I close it? No. All right, hold on one second. Let me go back and look at Cap over here. All right, so yeah, he did have nine. I thought I remember that. Iron Man had nine. Here, Cap has the original, and then, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So he winds up winning over here by two. Now, since 2019, you would knock off Hydra. You would knock off 3099. You would knock off any of the Endgame and Infinity War ones. So we would maybe be ending here at Marvel now, Civil War, Winter Soldier. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Close. About three less. So, who knows? If it was on equal footing four years versus four years, I don't know who would win. Uh, I kind of predict Future Fight might lose in Raw Characters, but take the edge uh, in uniforms. Marvel Heroes... I think if you added them into the mix, they would have lost in raw characters, but they really stood a chance of potentially beating everybody in uniforms because they they went hog wild with uniforms in that game. I mean, Spider-Man had an ever-scrolling carousel of uniforms. So did Deadpool. So did Iron Man. So did Cable. I mean, Cable 
at least had seven or eight uniforms and no game has seven or eight uniforms for cable even this where cable just got a new one and a kind of a creepy one at that but like future fight now even has two for silver surfer you have modern you have black you have two odins i mean some games just don't even have odin alone um let alone uh two odins and you know multiple thanoses and multiple apocalypses would it be apocalypse i if you were to say a multiple apocalypses apocalypti uh cable i mean that's a huge amount of cables he's always a meta tune so it always stays at the forefront, which kind of sucks because as you go through, you're like, oh, I'm going to max out this uniform because Cable's so good. I like this one. He, that's Mythic. But then here's Bathing Suit Cable. And then there's Young Boy Cable. I just, it's like, oh, man, I have to bump up their uniforms again just to stay relevant because Cable's so powerful. And Sharon Rogers is like that. Sharon Rogers, Sharog's uniforms are always super big too uh thor i think if i know correctly herald of thunder really bumps thor up into being meta uh like i i think this suit is extremely good for thor we have two dormammus in marvel future fight some games don't even come close to having dormammu alone let alone two of them um you get some hulk skins we don't see in other games like a mortal hulk which makes him a villain maestro which makes him a villain although we do now have this in marvel's avengers but yeah kind of crazy and part of the reason why there's just a cosmic conflux of doing this video now aside from the six year anniversary or birthday of marvel future fight marvel strike force is rumored to be putting uniforms in that game and we're looking at getting a, uni a new character, a unique character called Kestrel and Colleen Wing. We don't see much of her in a lot of Marvel games. Obviously, we had her in Marvel Avengers Alliance, but you don't see a lot of Colleen Wing anywhere. And she's rumored to be coming to Marvel Strike Force South kind of a you know an interesting three-way intersection of the games over here uh interesting set of comparisons i think marvel strike force clearly can't compete in the roster right now but it'll be interesting to see what they do for uniforms they had a short-lived uniform for a little while when they gave deadpool the black and white x-factor one uh, but it didn't last and dc legends has over the last few years uh, been giving time limited suits over there time limited in the sense that you can't get them forever they're not evergreen but you go through a little period of time where depending on what you do whether it, i think it's a raid or spend a little bit of money you can get an alternative uniform over there but that game really is not super big on that and for marvel strike force are the uniforms going to change the character in some way or just visually be different but everything else is the same future fight characters are different when you have their uniform sometimes trash characters can become really good with the uniform and sometimes trash characters stay trash characters and here's a weird thing all of the um future fight characters got a classic representation of them except for mr fantastic who gets this really cool the maker uniform but he's the only one where they didn't give him a classic he has modern he has future foundation just like the rest um but they didn't give him classic the other three have it very interesting so that is it for me guys i hope you find this interesting and i hope to you just like me Hearing that there was 167 characters in Marvel Avengers Alliance, hearing that there is 335 uniforms, I hope that blows your mind. And kudos to Future Fight for giving us at least 241 characters as of now, and uh, you know, well over 350 uniforms, um, because you have to add 241 to however many 
are on this page over here and you clearly can get a hundred. I mean, if you were just to look at this, so there's eight, one, clicked on somebody. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 80, 11, 12, 13. Like that's all you need to do to beat Marvel Avengers Alliance right there. The rest is just overkill. And as you can see, it's, yeah, it's overkill. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. I hope this was eye-opening. And let's hope for the best in Marvel Strike Force and see what they do for the uniforms. I kind of hope, unlike MAA and MFF, they do not change how a character plays so that the uniforms are just a visual thing and not something that you really feel compelled to spend money on or have some kind of spending whale dolphin flipper curve for it so thanks for checking out the video guys hope you're having a good one